I said combining like terms and quadratic expressions. But if I'm adding, obviously I'm just adding the like terms together. Oh, we didn't get any subtracting ones. We're going to make the last one a subtracting one when we get there. <laughs> so you have an example of a subtracting one. But if I'm adding, I'm just adding the like terms together. And so I'm going to take the negative 7t squared plus the 2t squared. Negative 7 plus 2 would give me negative 5t squared then. And then I'm going to take the 3t plus the 4t and I would get plus 7t. And then I'm going to take my negative 1 plus my 5 plus 4. So negative 5t squared plus 7t plus 4 is just going to be my answer when I add those two expressions together. And so again, if I look at number 8, there's a plus sign in the middle telling me I'm just going to add the like terms together. And so I would get 3y squared, 3y squared plus, 7y. plus 7y. And that'd be it, because I'd get a 0 on the other one, and I don't need to put the plus 0, right? Number 9, I'm going to change that so you have a subtracting example. Uh, there, I now made it a minus. <laughs> so when we subtract, we have to remember that when this negative is in front of the parentheses, we have to distribute that negative out. The first part's going to stay the same. It's just 4t squared plus 3t minus 7. But here I'm going to say, okay, a negative times a positive is going to make that a negative, 2t squared. Negative times a positive is going to make that a minus 5t. And then a negative times a positive again is going to make that a minus 1. Technically, subtraction is adding the opposite. So we did the opposite of all of those signs in that so second set of parentheses. What was that? You just changed the sign. I changed all these signs to the opposite sign, yep. And now I'm going to combine my like terms. So 4t squared minus 2t squared is 2t squared. 3t minus 5t negative 2t and negative 7 minus 1. Negative 8. So 2t squared minus 2t minus 8. And we'll get some more practice on the subtracting on the next ones because those you're going to have both a sum and a difference in. They just made the problems a little bit longer. <laughs>